Hello, first graders. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to our school time together. Let's start each day the way, I should say, let's start today the way we start every day. Elbows, elbows, namaste. And the other way that's really good to start each day is giving our heads and hearts um, up in some meditative prayer to God. So we're going to close our eyes so that our brains can get connected to God and our heart can get connected and we can get connected with each other. So we'll do the sign of the cross and then the Our Father. So in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. And the other important thing for us to do every morning is to pledge allegiance to our 50 stripes and thir 13 stripes and 50 stars, our flag of the United States of America. So right hand on your heart, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God with liberty and justice for all. All right. So, for our daily meeting today, we're coming over to the rug in our imagination. Our student teacher would be setting up the calendar and the All About Today chart. And, and so, if our student teacher were to do that, they would see that we, it would help us to see that today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. The short way to write that is 4-28-20, the fourth month, so the 28th day of the fourth month of the 20th year of our century, right? And then, so when we look at the calendar, we see that yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday, and tomorrow will be Wednesday. Next, we would put the straws in the straw chart, and yesterday was day 149, so, and today is worth one. So 149 plus one. Well, if you don't know what number comes after 149, you can just think you had nine plus one. What's nine plus one? All right, it's 10. So, Nine plus one is 10 with 140 in front of it. 140, 10. And you would say that's too much because 10 is a magic number in our number system. Whenever we get 10 ones, we trade it in for one 10. So we're gonna trade in 10 ones for one 10, which means we're gonna put one more in the tens column. So now instead of four, we're gonna have four plus one is five. And then since we traded in the 10 ones for 110, now we have zero ones. So now we're gonna have zero ones, five tens, and we still have 100. So today is day number 150. 150, all right. By the way, another way to say 150 is 15 tens, 15 tens. If you had 15 groups of 10, you would get 150. All right, so in first grade, we know that there are an infinite number of ways to say any number. One way to say 150 is 100, five tens and zero ones or 15 tens and zero ones. But 
a really important way to learn how to express a number is with money. So yesterday when we were showing 149, we had $1, which is 100. We had one quarter. There we go, right? And that's worth 25. We had two of these little dimes with FDR. Each of those is worth 10, so there's our two dimes. And then we had four pennies. Four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, whoops, four, okay? So now today is one more day, so it's also worth one. So we're gonna put one more penny, one more Abraham Lincoln, or so on the back is his memorial that you'll go see someday. All right, so <clears throat> if we wanted to show that, we would just put a circle with a one in front of it. So let's add up our money. So we have one hundred cents or one dollar plus twenty five. So that's one hundred and twenty five or one dollar and twenty five cents plus ten. OK, well, there's a zero in the ones. So the ones is still going to be a five but now we're changing the tens from two tens plus one is three so one dollar thirty five cents maybe that's better to see okay then we're gonna add another dime <clears throat> so in the dime again the zero the ones column is a zero so the ones column is gonna stay the same so the ones column is still five, but now the tens column is gonna go up by one. So it was 135, there was a three in the tens plus one. What's three plus one? Four. So now when we got to this time, we were at $1.45 and then we added all these ones. So now $1.46, one dollar forty seven one dollar forty six forty seven forty eight one dollar forty nine and then for today one fifty because forty nine plus one is fifty I had to kind of squeeze it in there I'll write it up here so you could see it better one dollar and 50. Okay, see it? Now, look at how many coins we have in our pocket. One, we have, first we have a dollar, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. You know, you guys are young and energetic, but <clears throat> when you get a little bit older like me, it gets really hard to carry all those coins in your pocket. Hard to lift up your legs, so you always want to try to um, trade in coins to um, make it as uncrowded in your pocket or your wallet or your purse as possible. So looking at our coins, what could we trade in? We have five ones, five pennies. What would five pennies equal? It would equal five cents. What coin is also worth five cents? Remember? Yep, it's our nickel with Thomas Jefferson. Hold on a second. There he is, Thomas Jefferson on one side, the third president, and his home, Monticello, on the other side. So we could trade it those five pennies for one nickel. So... 
I'm going to take these five pennies and I'm going to draw an arrow to say if we put them together, they are equal to one five cent coin, one nickel. So now we have 125, 135, 145, 45 and 5 is 50, right? You know how to count by fives? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 35, 40, 45, 50. All right. So now we have one, two, three, just four coins. Is there any other coin? Is there anything we could trade in the dimes and the nickels for? Because the dimes are 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 5 is 25. Well, we have a 25 coin over here. We could trade in these two dimes and this nickel for another 25 coin the quarter. So I'm going to draw lines. These three coins are the same as a 20 as 25 cents. So what do we call that 25 cent coin? It is a quarter. So let me get another quarter. There it is. <clears throat> so now we can show $1.50 with just our dollar and two quarters. Sorry, our dollar and our two quarters. And now with just two coins, that's 50 cents plus our dollar bill. That's $1.50. $1.25, $1.50, one Very cool. Now, back at school, you might remember, we also had a 50 cent piece that uh, we could have traded in. Those are pretty rare, and I don't think I have one. I'm just looking through Mrs. B's coins. She doesn't have one. I have to whisper so she doesn't know that we borrowed her coins. But if we had a 50 cent coin, guess what? You could trade in the two 25s for one 50 cent coin. And then you would have 150 with just one coin and a dollar. So we went from having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins to either two nickels or just one 50 cent piece. So it's a great day, the 150 day, very special day. So thank you for getting off to a good start. I'll talk to you in a little bit about um, math. I look forward to talking to you then. Let's have a most excellent day, day number 150.